You know the misogynistic views that you find in the Bible? Well, a large percentage of the Republicans that are in office right now have those beliefs or derivatives of those beliefs. This sort of thing is why we still need people fighting against this stuff. It's, it's why we need the egalitarians. It's why we need the atheists. It's why we need the, uh, the pantheists and the pagans and others who don't hold these kinds of beliefs about women and gay people. You know, we, we need as many people fighting against this as possible, and this includes the feminists. There is still a big push f that women should be submissive, and they should uh, be demure, and they need to look good for men, and they need to, uh, to be a very particular way. And you can say, well, it's, it's in our nature. And we could say, well, there's a certain amount of it that you could say is in our nature. But one of the good things, and as I've said this before, one of the good things about living in a, in a, in a culture, in a civilization, in a place where less people suffer, is that we don't have to live according to nature's rules, so to speak. We can go far beyond that. We can be beyond our mere instincts. Now, I've argued before that there are things about our instincts that, that don't hurt anybody. And those things we should probably prop up a bit. And the things about our instincts that can often do a lot of harm, let's try to do harm reduction on those things as much as possible. You know, let's not chastise the instincts like some people have been doing. Let's Let's try to reduce the negative effects of them.